so we're going to be doing Poems for Painters, part two, by my good friend, Alex. Welcome, Alex. Welcome, welcome. So we've got, um, I have to uh, apologize last week. I missed one under uh, the, the fourth poem, the fish poem. So we're going to go back and uh, catch that one and then move forward. So, Alex, if you'd like to read us the poem. Hey. Goldfish on water, silverfish on land, no fish in air, except when artists put them there. There we go. And we have this beautiful piece by Andrea Raft. Oh, beautiful, Andrea. Yep. And then um, there's a, a photo by her son in the middle of that as well. Ah. So she worked the collage in that way. Beautiful, wow. But uh, I have to apologize to Andrea for not having that up last week. So, but there are lots of moving parts to this and this poetry piece with nine different poems, I had to put things in nine different folders. And so things get lost. <laughs> But, uh, but we're going to move on. Alex? Yeah. Just got there. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi. Hi. Very nice. Hi, Alicia. Hi, wherever you are. <laughs> I'm up at the top. <laughs> I'm, oh, that sounds like Connie. No, it's Diane Morgan. Oh, Diane. Hi. Diane. I'm not. Can't you see, can't you see me? Guys. Well, let's see some of the people. There we go. Okay, thank you, children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be quiet. <laughs> Alex, we'll have you read your lovely poem now. Okay. Through scrim over atrium, I see what breeze does to palms, halfway between hula and hair of mermaids in a maelstrom. And our first is by Alan Lohman. That's quite a maelstrom there. <laughs> Alan, tell us about your piece. Where is he? <laughs> I know he was here. <laughs> oh, May, I think we might have muted everybody for the presentation. Uh. <laughs> but this is a great piece by, by Alan. Done in acrylic. And then we have Diane Morgan's Dream Date. I've had some of those. <laughs> Not lately. And then also Diane's Windy Palms. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. And then Ushi's o Oasis del Sol. A two piece, it's a two for one. And then continuing on. Sometimes we live in a place where balloons descend, where they break crust to prance with magma. Sometimes we see that burst of color, that swirl of energy, and it makes us make things. Let's find out what they made. <laughs> Ooh. There's Alicia Siegler's balloon dance. Very colorful, very wonderful. It's watercolor, wow. Yeah, such vibrancy in the color. Yes. And then we have Jeffrey Levitt's In the Making. All sorts of fun musical pieces in there. Continuing on to Sylvia Smith's, she went specifically for the Magna Crust. Yes. Great mixed media piece there. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Ulrich's musings. Some fireworks and bursts. And then Diane Morgan's just glorious. Diane, I drive by this piece almost 
every other day. <laughs> it's uh, it's posted at what is it, Perez and Cathedral Canyon. Ah. Um, in the gallery. Well, <laughs> not quite a gallery. Uh, one of our local pot shops uses it to <laughs> draw in customers. Oh, I wouldn't know. No, but it's it's glorious. It's it's is it? I think it's. Uh, uh, can we turn on? Let find me find me Diane. Bring me the head of Diane Morgan. <laughs> it is uh, a print on plexi. Okay. That's it's not, a, it's not an yeah, original. I knew there was like some light and plexi and something. Going yeah, I haven't there. I haven't seen it finished yet, so I got to get over there and look at it. I don't know if it's. It seems like it needed better lighting, and I think he's fixed that. Oh, um, okay. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's it's just a couple blocks from me, so I pass it all the time. It was part of their public art requirement. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you have to have public art to sell pots in yeah. Cathedral City. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, moving on. Hi. The moon is half a cheese. But I've lost my fork. Oh, you lost your fork. Well, so did Nancy Rosardi. She found your fork. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yep, there you are. I unmuted uh, myself. <laughs> okay, yep. So this is actually a combination of two of your poems, which is number three with the hummingbird swoop to sweetness and um, a prayer. Yeah. So the hummingbirds are in the number three poem yeah. and then the rest of it is in the number seven poem. Oh, that's really fun. What did you use for the cheesecake? Uh, it's styrofoam that I cut into the right shape. And then oh. you can't see it from this angle, but there is jute along the outside edge. And I made a textured paper um, for the pan and then a little doily under the pan. And then mm. the top is watercolor paper that I tinted to be the colors of cheesecake. Wow. Nice. I was just waiting for it to rot or mold. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't do that. Thank right, you. Nope. nope. <laughs> I was just like, that's not real cheesecake. Okay. It looks great. <laughs> Edible art. <laughs> right. Speaking of. Yes. Here's Diane's watercolor for her tasty tart. And then also the strawberry cheesecake. That's definitely good enough to eat. <laughs> it was. That's, that's, that's the problem with all of those. I have to eat them all when I'm done. You just have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more palms. Palms wearing wigs and frangipani lipstick. Every day is a holiday if you have the eye to see it. And here we have Alan Lohman's celebration of palms. That's certainly a holiday. Yes. Actually, that's a painting I did about a year ago. And when I read the poem, I thought, well, I already have that painting with the print. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, these are great colors. I love the, the, the use of the pretty solid colors, but really bright. So, nice. And then we have Diane's drag queen palm tree right there. <laughs> okay, and then our favorite. Okay, let me say a few words first. Okay. I think everybody here knows Carmen Miranda, but maybe some people out there in whatever land don't. She, she's a very important character to me. In fact, I'm writing a book of pandemic poems and one of them is called The Lady in the Tutti Frutti Hat Meets Ma Kettle. And it's because just down the street from me was Carmen Miranda's house. And then down the street from her was Marjorie Maine. So I put them together in my head for this poem. But anyway, um, I'm wearing 
um, this t-shirt, which I got at the Carmen Miranda Museum in Rio de Janeiro. And I actually wore this when I visited her grave and I put a banana on Carmen's grave. So she's, she's oh. been, ever, since, <laughs> ever since I was a child, she's been this figure um, of amusement and amazement. And so she crops up every once in a while. But um, here's the last poem of, 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 this, of this little series. A muck in the fruit aisle balancing propinquity of apples with exoticest of Buddha's hand. Papaya and pepino absolve threat of kawano, while cotton candy grapes turn grocery into carnival. Suddenly, I have the desire to be Carmen Miranda, dancing on platform heels with the whole store on my head. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so how many people had to look up Buddha's hand and Pepino's and <laughs> Kawano's? <laughs> I'd actually seen Buddha's hands most recently at like Cardenas. Because uh, they, they carry just about every known, you know, fruit and vegetable known to man over there. So. This poem started, started actually with that. I, I bought one at Ralph's. I had no idea what this thing was, you know, or, or so I came back and did research on it. And in the process of doing that, I just started looking up some of these other things that I never buy that are there and you sort of wonder what they are. And I thought, well, I've got to taste everything. So <laughs> these bizarre things um, sort of propped up and then they work themselves into a poem. Nice. Okay, so first we have Carol Hatcher's oh, Buddha's Hand. I love this one, Carol. And so we can, it's, it's a collage. We can, you know, see through that one grape leaf that's wonderful. And then all the different fruits on top with a plethora of Buddha's hands, or yep. at least yes. a paper. Yeah. Right. And I used uh, a product called Liquid Pearls to put the seeds in uh, oh. on each of the fruits. So um, they're 3D and um, they're qu it's quite a translucent product um, that adds another dimension that I had ever worked with before. So I was happy with how the seeds turned out. So you took the seeds out and dried them and then? Hey, no. Oh. No? It's strictly it's strictly the product. You squeeze it on, and um, and um, you. So I had a photo. It's a photograph of the papaya with the seeds. So oh. um, I so I put the liquid pearls on over the photograph, and the same with um, on the top over her eyebrow. There's some white pearlescence there. Nice. Um, it, it was a fun uh, Alex. It, it was a wonderfully fun exercise in interpreting your beautiful words and your poem. I had a great time doing these. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have Marty Alexis's. Oh, yes. This is great fun, too. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. we have both both Carmen slash Carmine on one side, and we've got <laughs> the dancer on the other. Marty, what? Yes, it, it, hi. <laughs> you, do, do you do a lot of collage? We're so used to your other painting work. I mean, I know you work collage into your other styles. Oh, yeah. No, I, I use collage almost in everything, mm -hmm. actually. Um, but sometimes it's not so easily seen. Um, right. I, yeah, merge it pretty well. But I think this was such a fun subject, and your poem is just wonderful. I just Thank thought you. it was so fun to to play with it because of the um, the flamboyant uh, <laughs> nature of Carmen <laughs> Miranda and the fruit stand, and then the calming element of Buddha. And um, I just tried to make it sort of a fun a fun piece. There are three canvases glued together here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's really stacked. So there's, you, oh, you can't see my arrow, can you? Um, but 
the back <laughs> one is one, <laughs> and and then there's one on top of that, and then the top one with the Buddha and the dancer. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, and I have the uh, the platform mm -hmm. shoes in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and sort of a fun thing with a tropical drinks and fruit and all of that. There's a wonderful story about Carmen. She, she had, she was very, very short and she had the big tall shoes to make herself look bigger. But also they say, now this may be one of these Hollywood lore things. She liked her drugs apparently. And she had some of the shoes had like little drawers in them. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Her drugs in. Ooh, that's a little nice tip to know about. <laughs> I don't know if it's real, but it's part of the lore of. Uh, right. Yeah. So. <laughs> what What's Carmen doing? Oh, just sniffing her shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I know people who do that too, but. <laughs> so I added the the fishnet stockings too. So right. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have Alicia sing it, Carmen. Nice. Fun interpretation. Alicia, are you there? Can you tell us about it? Yes, I am. Um, it's a, can you hear me? Yes. OK. It's a 16 by 16 watercolor, which is sort of something I'm experimenting with during this um, stay at home time. And this was just an accident. It started out to just be a plain old abstract. And I started looking at it and I think I said, I think Carmen lives in there <laughs> somewhere. And so I developed it a little bit more and then there she was. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And then Ulrike's Pineapple Dreams. She's been having fun with, with pen and ink lately. So she, you're not here today, Ushi, are you? I don't think yeah, so. Where is she? I don't know where she is. Um, but we've got this. She's in the fruit aisle. <laughs> exactly. She's, she's... And then this most magnificent piece by Diane, The Washing Grapes, how you paint bubbles is and amazing. Wow. That's just amazing. And this was done before the pandemic when yeah. washing wasn't quite such an, an important thing. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> nice. And then... There we go, Sylvia Smith's Life of the Party. So, all sorts Ooh. of fun. Ooh. I haven't seen that one. Oh, wow. I love the cherry necklace. Yes. <laughs> Sylvia, are you out there? Have we not seen her? I was. I was wondering where she got the the music uh, inverted it in a copy or something like that but i love the play with the black and white and the white and black and then and all that fruit and color at the top so okay that's concludes our poetry session. Thank you, Alex, very much for the inspiration you provided for all of us. Thank you for asking me. It was a pleasure. And it's just so great to mm -hmm. see everybody's responses. I'm really, really happy. The highlight of my summer. <laughs> yes, we need those. Yes, more than ever. <laughs> so, well, look who's all here. Now, now I get to see you. I have to go off of sharing screen. So, um, so we're going to go into a discussion about what COVID nineteen.
quarantine has been like for everybody. Uh, um, actually, let's go to let's go to Stephen with uh, uh, with the gallery. Are you, are you there, Stephen? Unmute yourself, or do I have to unmute you? He should be able to unmute himself. Okay. I got it. I got it. There we go. Can you hear me? Yes. yes we can you hear learn? You. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, Stephen, okay. tell us, tell us what you been doing at the gallery slash photo studio slash printing place slash everything else. Right. You are really slowing down on your, your bandwidth over there, dude. I know, I know. I think there's too many windows open. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, so, uh, hello, everybody. I, how's everybody doing? Um, the, um, the gallery is doing fabulous. Um, the, uh, my two directors are doing a fantastic job, Chad and Tim. Uh, they have actually sold uh, two images um, out of the, the showing they're doing right now. Uh, out of a place called Kunsta Gallery, uh, which is done in Germany, uh, plus the videos that they're doing. Uh, we just had uh, the Palm Springs show come in here yesterday and uh, look at uh, everything that we're doing. Um, so that'll that'll be coming out. We're we're using every possible method of of, of getting the the word out, um, as well as the back the back studio you see behind me is still running. Um, I'm printing every day um, and uh, I'm shooting uh, headshots and things like that because I don't have to be that close. Uh, I, can, I can shoot a headshot from 15 feet away if I want to and still get the same results. Um, so um, we're masked up here. We're, we've got sterile stuff here. Uh, but I'm thinking to myself, it's not, letting me see, it's, it's not slowing us down. And, and, and I'm quite happy uh, because it hasn't slowed us down. We've, we're all doing different things. I've created a new series after new series that you'll see later on in the year. Um, and we've gotten some artists out here that are just absolutely fabulous. Like the one who does the work in the cardboard is just amazing uh, to see this stuff. Uh, I don't know where he gets his patience from, but I wouldn't have the patience to do one window of these things that he does. Um, so uh, it's it's onward and upward, uh, not letting anything stop us. And, uh, you know, we're just having a great time. Great. Um, Anne, Anne Bedrick, tell us about it. Uh, what, what is life like over on Perez Road? Well, it's definitely a lot quieter than it was pre-COVID, <laughs> um, but we've uh, been doing a lot of uh, online stuff. I have been very fortunate that um, I've made some sales through Singular, um, which is an online like Saatchi gallery, and um, people that were in pre-COVID have been contacting me to acquire some work. So in terms of that, that's been great. But the interesting thing for me is my work has been going through a huge transition. So at first with COVID, um, I found that the work started to get a lot more complex and um, a lot more layers and different kinds of mark making that were sort of reflecting of the time. And then as things um, have continued to get even more complex in our country with protests and all of the um, events happening in um, our government, um, my, my work is kind of getting grittier and almost more, uh, it's been compared by a lot of people to Basquiat's work. Um, and I'm sort of trying to have a little bit of a cathartic experience, get out all the emotions of it. And, um, and I've been playing really big too, which has been really fun. Like some of them are like seven and a half feet by five or six feet. And it's been great. I, I, I feel like 
in many ways, this time has been a blessing that it's been quieter because I've really been able to focus on the work so much. Mm -hmm. Hey, Terry, um, who else has had a blessing uh, with this time? I, it hasn't really felt that different to me because I'm just painting like I normally would paint, although I'm not going to the studio. I, I haven't been there since March and I've been painting at home instead. I'm a, a little bit nervous about going somewhere where there might be a lot of people, but I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I need to get over that. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually enjoying it, I have, except I'm missing my classes. I don't have classes at all because I haven't started doing online yet. And I finally got a webcam because I can't find, I couldn't find mine. Took me three months to get one online to get it ordered. The first one from Wuhan ever showed up, and um, I'm, so I'm made to start doing some online classes. But I'm doing <laughs> lots of commissions. I'm, I've done three dog portraits. I'm working on another dog now, and I'm doing a, a Steve McQueen oil with for a friend, and um, and uh, some kids portraits of kids. So I'm doing a lot of commissions, which is good. Mm-hmm. Andrea, Raft, how's, uh, how's Big Bear? He's mute. Oh, okay. What? Well, let's see. Uh, Carol, why don't you tell us about the Ripped and Torn group? Um, well, you've seen some of the product. Um, we've had three challenges and um, we, uh, Andrea and Chris do a real good job of um, helping us think of a theme and then we decide maybe five elements in that theme that we will use. Um, the nature theme was uh, palm fronds, rocks, um, a plant, some tree pods. So um, all 12 of us or 14 of us take those um, elements and then we interpret according to our style in the collage style and um, we're hoping to do uh, group shows so that all 16 of each of our four themes so far will be shown together and um, it's been a fun interpretation and I think we've um, we've grown really close together through this organized um, effort, uh, the same as working on Alex's poems, there was a, a community that happened with those themes and then in talking to each other and talking to other artists, which one are you working on? What are you, how are you interpreting? So um, I have found, because I'm um, a new emerging artist, especially in this type of work, not the assemblage, I have found that a community, small group, is very helpful and very encouraging. And I have learned a lot, even over Zoom and over the internet. I, I have felt enriched um, in my progress and in getting to know these 12 women so much better and um, having been encouraged by each other. So. It's been a, a, a real time of enlightenment for me. Um, I turn the phone off. I don't answer anything and nobody comes to the door. I mean, it's just my, this is my happy spot right now. And I've cooked 347 meals since March 13th. <laughs> <laughs> but no, who's counting? <laughs> And, and that's my happy place too. So art and um, culinary art um, has been a really good time for me. But uh, the it's been good eating. Yeah. <laughs> but the answer, the ripped and torn group. Um, you know, we found each other, and um, it, it's just been a, a wonderful um, time of unity for us. Thank you. Yes, Andrea. Let's go back to you now. We can. We can I'm talk sorry. To you. I have to unmute myself. I'm here. Uh, this is where I do my work. The weather here is gorgeous, and I'm, we're enjoying the outdoors. Uh, I somehow seem to be working at a snail's pace. Everything is taking me longer, and I'm here every day in the studio, but it's just taking me forever. Uh, I love my Ripped and Torn group. We are having so much fun. 
and I love doing the poem, which that was before COVID. Um, I came on late today, so I just sort of missed myself. <laughs> I saw the tail end of me. Uh, <laughs> I, I love I love what you're doing, and uh, look forward to more. And you know, fun, really fun. Right. Stay safe. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, as far as Karen? selling and showing your, your work. What have people been doing? What uh, new and unique opportunities have you created? Terry. For example, yeah, yes. Hey, Kathleen. Kathleen, and yep. you were saying blessing, and I, I'm not sure if it's a blessing or a curse, but um, I think I do have more time, but I had a fairly active teaching schedule and some workshops planned in the spring, well, the winter and spring, and after COVID started, they all got canceled. And I had some commitments. And so one, I was forced to do a two day workshop on Zoom live, which was an interesting experience. And I'd like to talk to you, Diane, to how you're gonna pursue Diane Morgan. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> yeah, well, um, it was interesting. And you, boy, you have to come up to, first of all, like you say, getting the equipment and then the technology. So I'm almost thinking I'm doing more of that and looking at business models than I am doing art, although I'm active in the ripped and torn and have some things going on. But it's been really interesting because I've really had to switch gears. You need so, to check with Jessica Schiffman because she's been doing three classes a week online. Really, on Zoom? Uh-huh. So it's been, um, it's been interesting. And, um, but I think that's always good for us, especially at my age to have to shift gears a little bit. So, right. and uh, speaking about eating, I'm the same way. I mean, we don't go out, we don't, you know, there's, we're really staying in. So it's all about food. And I found this wonderful, well, I got my first order today from um, Imperfect Foods, which is really wonderful. And I have mm -hmm. some um, Dover Soul from Astoria, Oregon, and it even had the name of the ship on it. And then the other wow. thing I've discovered is Pure Seafoods from Seattle. And they're out of the, um, oh, the big market up there where they throw the fish. And um, you can get fresh Dungeness crab and razor clams. And so we've been living it up <laughs> food wise. So. Nice. Um, and so, so, yeah, for, for selling, uh, for example, I've been on Saatchi, which has done okay for me. Me and then eBay, because then I sell dirty pictures, and so that usually works. <laughs> what 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 else has uh, people been doing, selling where through where? I sell more through Facebook than I do almost anywhere else. Yeah. So, other questions anybody would like to discuss? or see how anybody is doing. And Andrea's painting, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm collaging, you understand what I'm doing? Uh, doing a collage. There we yeah, go. You know, this is gonna be for your music, Terry. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, so we've got the, the show coming up. Um, Sunday is the... Um, due date for the, the animal show. Please, please get them in as soon as possible because I've only got like 12 pieces right now. So I'd uh, love to have all those get up and going. Uh, and then September is why we live in the desert. Uh, so kind of start to think about that. Um, Terry, I have um, a question. And we're going to continue with these online formats, both the online show. Yes. I'm sorry for interrupting. Carol. Yeah. Um, so you have the gallery set up on wicks of everything, uh, of all of our work that we presented to Alex's poems. Can, do you have hits on, on that gallery? Can you tell if people are visiting that gallery? Yeah, no, I've, I get the numbers. I can, I can tell you how many people have been there. I can't tell how many have been you, <laughs> you yeah. know, versus uh, strangers or anything like that, but I can tell that those have been there. Um, and that uh, I'm slowly video put up on my YouTube channel. 
and we can tell how many people actually see these videos. So, um, so we've got that. I ask a question. Yes, you can. Um, Carol, I guess, or maybe some others too. I, I'm I'm not aware of this rift is torn. Can you tell me a little more about that? Oh. Is it like a private thing or? Andrea. <laughs> Andrea, talk about Rift and Torn. <laughs> uh, somebody posted that they were interested in a uh, collage group. And so um, I said, oh yeah, I put my hand, yes. Chris Cozen, yes. Uh, we had, we were overwhelmed with yeses. The actual person posted originally dropped out. We have 15 members, which is really max, because if we were to have a physical space, we had people that we could in there. And uh, we've been working, what, Carol, uh, over a year. Wow. Over a year. So that's good. Right. But it, we, uh, the last three, four months, we've had a project that we've decided upon, and everybody has do that something in that theme similar to what you're doing terry and it's just been really fun and educational we're learning a lot the last project we did was uh inspired by clint and we learned so much about his works and his mania but we've had fun it's been great i love i love the title i was thinking there should be a, a poet's cars gerald <laughs> Well, we're ripping and tearing, so that's where we came from. There are seven of us on this page right now from the group, so just about half are here. We also have a web, we also have a Facebook page. Oh, there is a Facebook page. Okay. okay. Hand up if you're in the group. Okay. Group, group, group. group. Alicia, Marty. put your hand up. <laughs> Marty. Alicia's not in. Good. Anyway, we're all in it. Great. I look forward to seeing more. Thank you. Tamara, would you like to give us any words of wisdom or? Uh... <laughs> I have no words of wisdom. <laughs> they're, all, they're all gone. I left them at the campus back in March. Right. No, um, I have words of gratitude and thanks to Terry for keeping this creative spirit, this group alive. I. I I'm just so happy and pleased. A round of applause for Terry. Thank you. Artists together. Thank you, Terry. And, and lurking in the background, you guys see um, Nancy and someone called UPR Palm Desert, and then you see a golf hotel. That's they're on our team at UPR Palm Desert. And um, there's Kelly. 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 Um, I don't know. Um, here. I'm here, just in the shadows. Right. Um, and I just, I just wanted you to to acknowledge them too, because they've been working hard since since March when we pivoted to working at home and trying to deliver content online. And and tea time with Terry is just one of the things we've been doing. We've been doing a number of of, of different um, online virtual events. Um, some some a lot, a lot, some a lot of work, but still fun. Um, so I, I hope you're all enjoying it. I hope um, to see you back on campus when it's safe to be there. I'll tell you that we do have, we got the word from our chancellor last Friday that most of the staff, uh, UCR staff will be working remotely through the end of the calendar year, um, which, you know, isn't given the circumstances, what we're seeing in terms of numbers in our Valley recently, um, is not a surprise and our, our main our, our main priority is to keep everyone safe and you know um that that's what we're doing but we miss everyone and this is yeah. this is not perfect but it still is a, a wonderful way to connect and and i, I just want to thank you all for for participating and being here i love your space your little zen buddha there Oh, thank you. And you can't see my view, but I, I'm looking out over my pool and there's a little lizard over there. There's some hummingbirds. There's the ravens are going crazy this time of day. So it's really nice to, I, I miss my campus view, but this is not so bad. <laughs> and, and I have, you can't hear them, but because uh, they're not snoring loudly right now, but I have three big dogs at my feet and 
sometimes during meetings, I have to like mute myself because my dogs snore way too loud. <laughs> well, wonderful. Um, again, thank you to all the artists and the participants. Thank you to my, my staff and helpers at, at UCR. This is great to keep all this going. Again, uh, the, the uh, animals uh, are due on Sunday, and then we will all get together the first Thursday. What, what is that, the um, sixth? Whatever the first Thursday of August is, because now we move to first and third Thursdays. Uh, because of August, or July having five Thursdays of it. So, um, but this has been great, and I thank you all very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.